Hey guys, welcome back to the Love and Dubai show. Today's guest is a friend of the show, Ahmed Al Marzuki, aka Chai with Ahmed. He recently dubbed the first Bollywood film in an Emirati accent and he's here to share his love for Bollywood with us. And we are also here to share our love for him as our bestie. Welcome back to the show, Ahmed. Oh, that's a surprise. <laughs> Some flowers nice smell. For you. Thank you so much. Love yes. in Dubai. I always like watching you guys. Aww. Seriously. Welcome back to the show. All the latest updates are all in Love in Dubai. <laughs> It's been so long since we've had a chat. What's yes. been going on? I mean, a lot of things have been uh, going on, a lot of beautiful stuff. Right now, I have been, uh, you know, I just dubbed for the first film ever to be dubbed in Emirati. Mm. And since it's in cinemas right now, I'm so happy for that. You guys have to go and watch it. Congratulations, Please. Turbo yeah. and Movies. Oh my yes. God. Okay, for sure. I, I want to ask the first question. Okay. When did your love for Hindi movies in general start? It started when I was at age of six or seven. I still remember that I was sleeping and then my mom, she came and she wake me up. She said, let's go to cinema. I was like, what is cinema? I don't know. I was just a kid. So she was saying there was a lot of food. They were the foodie. So when I went there, I smelled the popcorn. I was like looking at the people. It felt like a circus. Yeah. And then the first film that I watched was a Bollywood film. Different. It's called Kalnayak. And then I saw it was music, dance, action. Everything was there. Then I said, okay, now I know what my next movie is going to be about. It's all about Bollywood. Wow. And since that till now, like almost 30 years, Bollywood, Wikipedia, you can tell me. Wow. <laughs> And how was it kind of, so your passion grew from then? Yeah, yeah. And was there a scene here in the UAE? Was it easy to meet like-minded folk that also loved Bollywood, loved Hindi movies? I think, yeah, since our great-grandfather days, we have always been working with, you know, like Asians and Indians. And I think the love came from that time, I think from 80s. And, you know, when the export import thing happened between the gold, the masalas, everything. So I think the, and, and the pearls. And then I think definitely from that time it came. And then we had one local channel. They like they air all Indian films every Thursday. We have our dinner and then we watch Bollywood films with the family together. Ah, That's how it nice. got to do. That's so cute. So then do you <laughs> feel like you really have like kind of a personal connection To Bollywood. I think now I'm having, yes. Yeah. Now definitely I'm having. I'm every year I'm going to Mumbai and you know, like going there, having their food, meeting the locals and talking about our culture. And we have a little, little bit like similar culture also. Yeah. In terms of the food, in terms of this one. So I think we have that kind of bond. Mm-hmm. And I think through this film we are bringing that kind of bond back because I think, um, you know, it's it's a token of love from our side to them that, you know, thank you for all Indians that they are working so hard to make our country very shining, very beautiful. So I think this is just a token of love from them. And I think since we know a couple of Indian words, I'm sure that you guys also know a little bit of Hindi words, but they don't know our words. You know? They, they, they don't know our language. I think from this one, it's a starting point for them also to understand our language and A little bit here, like to communicate with us through this film. I love the communication between strong between major cultures, and I, yes. I just wonder, um, uh, what do you think? You kind of touched on similarities between the cultures in terms of food, but what is kind of the main similarity, in your opinion, between Arab culture and Indian culture? I think food plays a very important role. <laughs> let's, let's let's stick on that. But definitely, we love art. I think we have so passionate about art. If you go to a museum, we have a lot of art. They also love. art. I think um, the, the, the folklore is the same almost. And uh, mm. I think this is the most important thing when you want to, you know, to be connected with the thing. I think the first thing you will go and watch is entertainment or films. And I think through that, we as Emiratis now, we are coming with ideas to come, you know, in a cinematic experience with the cinema, with the love of Bollywood. I think we are Coming up slowly, but we are coming up. And uh, I think every year we are seeing like five to six MRT films to be produced. And I think with this, we are opening doors for more people, the more talented youth to come and dub for the films. Because we have a lot of people with creative ideas, but they don't have the opportunities. I think with this, we are opening more opportunities for more projects and more people to come in. Mm. So talking about more projects, then what would be a project that you would personally like you would love to be involved in that you haven't yet? Um, okay, now this is a very secret thing. Okay. Um, I've been receiving a lot of calls. Um, so yeah, I'm not so sure if you guys know Big Boss, the show. It's like, yeah, so today the finale and two of my best friends are in the show. 
and I hope one of them they get the trophy. But um, it's resuming again in October. So I've been receiving a lot of calls and messages that are you part of it because wow. we've been hearing a lot of rumors. But all I can say that it's a big responsibility as an Emirati to you know to stay in your culture and you know India is a different country. But of course you want that to maintain your dignity. So let's hope. We can talk about that next time if everything goes well. So have they <laughs> have they reached out officially and asked you to be part of Big Boss? I can't talk much about <laughs> it, okay, but I can see I am going to Mumbai on September to celebrate okay. my birthday, right. September 5th, where I'm calling all the celebrities and all the wow. apps. So that's a huge day for me mm-hmm. and let's hope for the best. And when does he, the next season of Big Boss It's start? in October. Interesting. Okay. Interesting. Mm, okay, so let's keep our eyes peeled. <laughs> let's hope mm. for the best. <laughs> Speak to us a little bit about Turbo. Yes. Turbo, so basically, is the first film officially to be dubbed in Emirati and to release in cinemas. And it's a film, it's about a guy where he goes to Chennai to work, but accidentally he makes himself... Um, in a situation with mafias and with bad guys that will threaten his life and his family's life. So it's a journey of his. It's a film with full of emotions, family, um, drama, action, comedy. It's a f- everything for everyone. Wow. So just go and watch. And I'm playing a guy called Andrew. Um, he's an actor and director. His name is Delish. So basically, he is a very, you know, like a tough guy, but from inside, he's very soft. So, and when it comes to help someone, if he feels that this guy needs a support, he will definitely come and support him. It's a nice film, but very sad ending from my part. I cannot tell you what will happen to that guy. You have to go and watch it. Mm-hmm. But it was a very beautiful experience. And as, as, as a content creator, you always get the chance to voice over your content. But to go in a big studio with the big mics and this one... It was it was a different level, but I really want to thank the whole team who worked with us, and I think with because of those team, because of that team, I really was um, you know very how if how, I don't know the exact words, but I was very comfortable with them, and the vibe really matched, and I think because of that, I have dubbed for five characters mm-hmm. in just three for, to four hours. That's it, the whole yes wow. in the wow. same movie in the same movie. Exactly. I think with the help of the team, because they were so encouraging me. Ahmed, you can do it. You can go for it. You know, that That's kind so of impressive. encourage. I really hope that every team, every person had that kind of a team. Oh, my yes. gosh. <laughs> so, now you're... <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to think about the mechanics, like three to four hours. Five, five characters. Five characters. Five characters. Five different, oh, obviously, yeah. Basically, one main character and the remaining are like... like but each have their own individual part. personality exactly, as well. Exactly, with the tonality. Yeah. And you know what I have noticed? That... I was uh, playing a role of the father, okay? okay? And they told me this a small trick. If you sit and you bend on one side, mm. your voice will become a little bit more tougher. Oh, that is so That's interesting. That's a technique. Mm. Yeah, like, okay. Wow. <laughs> <How are you? laughs> it's like, hi, how are you? <laughs> hi, how are you? <laughs> See that kind of tonality? Mm. That, yeah, that like small, small tweaks. It really works. How did you find, because one of my questions was going to be getting into the mindset of the actor yes. that you were playing, but you did that across five characters in a short space of time. How did you do it? As I mentioned, the team, they were like, yeah. they were giving me, you know, the tips and tricks, do this, we'll do that. I think um, with the help of them, and definitely we're on social media, so we have to act a little bit, right? So we, we are not the true people where we're sharing our stories, but I think every person, um, you know, they, they have that kind of creativity. To you know, to come out in a social, if it's the right person or if he is acting, you know, this is the whole social media consequence. But all I can say is that um, if you have the passion, if you have the dedication, you will do whatever you want to do. You can go maybe to hundred, no, not, not to that extent, definitely, but maybe <laughs> five, six, it's fine. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> do you have like a favorite one of the characters then that you did? I love the guy who put the. Chai one. That's one of my characters. Okay. He puts the chai and he gives chai and then he says something very funny. Okay. But the chai is always in my DNA. Mm. So whenever you say chai, I, say, I will always do a chai character. Whenever you guys have any film with chai character, please call me. Yeah. That's me. <laughs> I wish we had some this morning. I was so sh- I was. Oh, upset. you don't have? I had no. my chai when I'm coming. That's, I I thought that's you my morning some. routine. You had your fix. <laughs> <laughs> Next time will definitely come. Mm. Definitely. As this is, you said, the first movie to be dubbed in Emirati. Yes. 
Was there, um, you know, discussions on what type of language to use? Was it more traditional? Was it formal? Was it less formal? And did you have input on that when you took part in the dialogue? Actually, when they called me the production, of course, I really want to thank Truth Global Funds and Maryam and Noor Al-Hilali. They are the one who encouraged me and called me, that, Ahmed, you have to be part of it. So the first call was, do you want to be part of it? I was like a little bit... Nervous because it's a huge responsibility on my shoulder because I'm dubbing for a film and it's a huge film in South and you know I was like I'm not so sure but then when they called me again I thought that okay let, let me go and get a chance and uh, it's a pure Emirati like how we talk here with our friends you know it's a very relatable film at the same time because I don't know the Malayalam language I know only Hindi language because in the India you have more than 28 states and every state has a language. So this is called Malayalam film, and for me it was very difficult to understand, but I think the two girls that I mentioned, they are amazing speakers, and they know exactly how to translate every sentence. So they were like, Ahmed, now this sentence is this one. Please say it in your, like, you know, like Emirati, how do you say it? I say, okay, this is right? Yes, right, go for it. So it's like like scene by scene, wow, we wow. have to practice. Yeah. And it came out, as I mentioned, in three to four hours only. That's how easy it was, and that's how comfortable I was in front of the, you know, the mics and, and, the, and the team. So it's their effort, a little bit extra effort from my side, yeah. but it's all about them. Thank mm. you. Thanks to them, by the way. Thanks to them. Thanks to you as well. I'm super excited to go and see the film. So yes. it's out now officially. We From can go today. and see it. Okay. From today. From team today. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> go and watch with the chai. With chai. Okay. Chai, please. Perfect. We'll do. Um, was there any kind of like major challenges that you faced throughout and how did you overcome it? Actually, the major challenge, as I mentioned, it was um, huge responsibility because I'm dubbing for the first time and the trust that they had Um, you know, that Ahmed can play this one. And I was nervous. I was like, okay, I don't know when what people's reaction will be, whether they will accept it. Because, you know, so many people, unfortunately, they don't support Emirati films whenever it comes in cinema. But they do support like Bollywood, Hollywood. It's a big production, but for Emirati. So that's why we want to deliver a message to bring that kind of, you know, like the relatability of the Emirati, but in a big production film. So it's just an opening for us, and let's see uh, how people will uh, will react to it. So we had a private screening with the uh, influencers and media people. They loved it, and that right. was a boost for us. Yeah. You say, okay, then people are accepting it, so please go and watch it. And it was like, okay, we are doing something very beautiful. And just today, every, you know, like, well, and then I'm going to the application, are people are booking the tickets? I think, oh, oh, okay, no. that's cool. That's people huge. are buying tickets. Yeah. So that it means they're accepting it. Yes. I think um, thanks to them, thanks to our youth, um, that you know we need their support, and I think they are doing it. What a great moment for history in the country! And so, congratulations, big time for being Thank part of you us. Thank you so much. I think this is all about. Also, our ruler, they have always taught us, you know, that bring some creativity with our youth, bring something new. I think with this film, we are bringing it, and we are opening doors for our youth to. Come, dub, yeah. if you love that. Because we know that people, they love, but they don't have the opportunity. I think through this, I really hope that they come up, inshallah. And quick question before yes. you leave us. Big Boss, if anyone, that, if has there been an Emirati to take part in it before? Emirati, no. Interesting. I am the first one. <laughs> Crossed, Let's keep our eyes peeled on this big boss announcement as well. But go watch Turbo. It's in movies now, dubbed in Emirati Arabic by the one and only Chai with Ahmed. Thank you And so thank much you for the flowers. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, that brings us to the end of the show on this beautiful Friday morning. Thank you, Renine. Thank you. We'll see you tomorrow morning, same time, same place.